in, in years past, the January camps have been, um, you know, mostly opportunities for guys in the MLS to just come in and, and try and stay fit and stay. Um, Keep uh, keep their game, um, you know, as tight as possible, and uh, having the coach get a, get a good look at you. But this year, um, it's different. We got a lot of guys that have played uh, now in in a lot of uh, qualifiers. There's still some new faces in, um, you know. But uh, for us, with the World Cup coming up, this is a this is a huge opportunity for us to uh, continue to try and show that uh, that we belong. Um, you know, continue to try and show the coaching staff that uh, we have what it takes to to be a part of that World Cup team and. Um, you know, for me, uh, for me personally, this is, uh, you know, this could be my, my this is my first true opportunity um, to go to a World Cup and uh, could be my last. So for me, it's, uh, it's, it's very important. You know, it's pretty surreal uh, considering the fact that I honestly, I thought my career with the national team was uh, pretty much over until I got an email last year saying I was coming back into camp. Um, I, I truly thought that uh, that it was a wrap. So um, I was focusing on my club. But to be fair, from uh, you know, I came in the league in 2002. But in 2005, I got my first opportunity. But uh, you know, I'll be the first to admit that I wasn't. I didn't. I wasn't a true professional at the beginning of my career. I was a young kid. I was naive. Um, didn't take care of myself very well. Um, and I, you know, I can't blame anybody but myself for not uh, not being a part of those. So um, it took me a while to learn, but I did. I took care of myself, and uh, I feel like I've been playing some of my best soccer in the past few years. As as I've gotten older, we have an unbelievable pool of midfielders, um, and, and everybody knows that. Uh, so. It, to, to say it's going to be tough is an understatement. Um, to come out here and, and work hard every day, um, continually try and stand out, um, continually be consistent. Uh, World Cups, and, and Jurgen even alluded to it, it's all about uh, you know who's in form at, the, at, at that time. So if you can stay consistent um, throughout the year, go back to our clubs and do well, um, uh, and, and help your club do well, personal success, club success, and uh, be on top of your game at the World Cup at, uh, at the World Cup moment. Anything can happen. So um, it's up to you as an individual, but to, to come out and, and bring that same mentality day in, uh, day in and day out. Um, you know, at, at this high level. You know, I played uh, out on the wing. Um, you know, throughout my professional career, but but the other part is I played in the middle too a little bit. And with with Jurgen, we played some different systems where the wingers pinch in. So I'm comfortable in the middle. I'm comfortable playing out wide, and I feel like uh, I have the uh, mentality now to uh, to do the dirty work, which is both sides of the ball, get up and down the field, and help my teammates out in any way possible. So um, you know, uh, and obviously set pieces, I, I feel very comfortable um, over those. And uh, you know, it's uh, just having that uh, that mentality of uh, the will to do whatever it takes uh, you know for your teammates and to get a win this is what every and if if you ask a soccer player and they don't say it they're lying to you their absolute dream is to play in a World Cup and represent their represent their country um, that is uh, that is the 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 ultimate um, that's what you uh, play for that's what you work for your whole entire life and uh, you know for me to uh, uh, to honestly be sitting here and saying that and talking about it gives me chills a little bit uh, it's pretty uh, pretty special to say that so um, like I said this might uh, this, this, this could be my last opportunity and, and I'm going to do everything possible to make it the best.